Hey everybody, thank you all for tuning in. My name is Sam, I am the superhero. I am a psychic medium, and that's what makes me a superhero. So go ahead and like the video and hit that subscribe button because we love superheroes over here. I am a no tools reader, and my gift that stands out the most is my clairvoyance. So today I will be talking about what it's like being a black psychic introvert. And listen, I appreciate you all so much for being here. And if you like, love, or hate this video, please consider giving me a super thanks by clicking the thanks button down below and dropping some change in my piggy bank. That is 100% optional. It is also 100% appreciated. Even without doing so, I value your presence for watching, sharing, and commenting on my videos. So what is it like? being a black psychic introvert? Well, I'll start with a short answer, which is it's complicated. And it's complicated because as a light worker, which I am, I'm here on a very special assignment from God. And for all of you who are not familiar, familiar with the term light worker, a light worker is a soul that has agreed to come to earth on a mission to help humanity or to help the animals or nature and the planet as a whole, really. So that's what I am, a psychic medium light worker. And I chose to use my spiritual gifts, being a guide and helping the masses along their journeys. So what has that looked like for me? It's looked like self-imposed isolations for long periods of time, my goodness. It's looked like spending years in intense learning. It's looked like supporting people as they finally let go. It's looked like bringing husbands and wives together and discovering that's my, your husband, that's your wife. It's looked like reconnecting loved ones who have crossed over with their loved ones who are still here on planet Earth. And it's also looked like saving lives. So why is it complicated? Well, as an introvert, I hate being in large crowds and I can't stand being around a lot of people in general. In fact, these are the type of situations that I try to avoid at all costs. I remember many years back, oh, here we go. I remember many years back, um, I used to live between a Walmart and a CVS store, right? And we all know that Walmart has the best prices, but in terms of proximity, my place was between both a Walmart and a CVS. However, Walmart would have been technically closer to my place. But instead of going to Walmart, which is this huge store where I could get everything that I needed and for a cheaper price, I would go to the CVS store that was a bit further and more expensive. And why would I do this? Simply because in CVS, Yes, there was less people and I knew that it was likely that I wouldn't have to interact with anybody except for the cashier which is what I preferred now if I could have went there and did a self checkout I would have been in heaven but it is those types of introverted ways about me um, that make being a psychic medium light worker complicated because I'm the type of person who values up close real connections opposed to a ton of superficial connections, right? I'm the type of person who shies away from the limelight. As you can see, I am not sitting in front of the camera while I'm doing this video. Uh, I'm the type of person who is both open-minded and guarded, uh, but I tend to be more so guarded as I know that people are always looking for something, even when they come along acting as if they are trying to play nice. From my experience, uh, the second that a person finds out that you have a certain talent or skill, they try to figure out how they can exploit you or use you. And that's the type of energy that absolutely repels me. Um, I wouldn't tell an acquaintance this, but if you want to get rid of me and quick, treat me like I'm a genie in a bottle and I'll be out of there so fast it'll make your head spin. A few years back, I reconnected with a friend from either elementary school or maybe it was middle school, right? Um, and it should be noted that this friend is a complete extrovert, okay? So only for the purpose of helping her, I revealed that I am a psychic medium and I read for her. Now, at this time, she was in a really nasty situation, right? Uh, and let me say this, I don't blame her for her reaction because this is something that she's never known about me, even though we've known each other for over 20 years. But in her excitement, I'll say, uh, while we were talking on the phone, 
I let her ask me questions regarding her situation. And while she was talking to me on the phone, her sister came by and she was like, when I'm done with you, this is what my friend told me. She was like, when I'm done with you, she's going to get on the phone with you and she's going to ask you her questions too. However, this friend never for once asked me if that was okay. And she never asked me how I felt about that. She just automatically assumed that because I am who I am, I should be passed around and perform for the crowd. Uh, now, I don't have a problem with her sister. Her sister has always been a pleasant person as well. Uh, but that's what my friend did. She didn't ask. She just assumed, hey, it's okay. It's all good. Now, I never told her because this was our first time really catching up in years, but it was that incident that made me back away from her. Again, going back to the whole introvert in me, I felt on display, almost like a circus act. And, and I was offended that my friend didn't consider the way that I may have felt in that moment. Everything was all about them and their needs. And even though by revealing myself, I was trying to help her, I never intended for things to turn out that way, which is why it took me over 20 years to tell her to begin with. So shortly after she said that, I ended the call. And speaking of that, as a rule of thumb, I do not tell people about my psychic gifts because when you do, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there is an expectation and you can never really just be another person around them. So why did I tell you that story? Oh yeah, um, I told that story to illustrate how everything changes when people know your little secret. People will try to exploit you. People will try to use you. And people will even try to befriend you just so they can save their questions for a later date and time. And this is why it's very challenging for me to make friends. But I've also been blessed um, because I already have a bestie that most of you know here on YouTube and her name is the one and the only Planet Ty. And speaking of Planet Ty, um, she has much more of an extrovert type of personality uh, or energy than I do. So she's the one who's likely to convince me to go to places with large crowds. And um, when I'm with her in these types of spaces, I'm at ease because her powerful energy kind of transmutes the other energy in the environment around us. And I notice that I don't feel so impacted by the energy of others in her presence. Now more on what it's like to be psychic. Sometimes it's like living in one big deja vu, right? Because when you've already seen something or you've already heard something or you've already felt something before the incident has ever happened, it's like a tape recorder on repeat. So a few months back, Planet Ty and I were on our way to Walmart, right? <clears throat> and when we got about halfway there, I had a vision of someone yelling outside of the store. And I told her about it. And she was her normal self and was like, well, it's probably nothing, right? And I kid you not, ladies and gentlemen, as soon as we turned into the parking lot, there was a man to the right of us who started yelling. And when we found a parking there was a woman who was near our car who started yelling. And when we went into the store, yep, you guessed it. Someone started yelling. I think uh, I think that was another I think that was another man. Now, mind you, none of the yelling was related. It was three different people yelling about three different things, and my bestie was right. None of the things were a big deal but they all triggered the introvert in me to want to get the hell out of there and fast. Why? Because I don't like loud people and I don't like loud environments for that matter. So it's going to be really interesting to see how I pull things off navigating both the loud people and environments to fulfill my mission of being a light for the masses in this incarnation. It's funny because in some ways it feels like I scare so easily but in other ways, I can be very intimidating to other people. And this is without me trying, but um, we all have psychic ability. It's just a matter of us tapping into the abilities that we have and identifying our strong suits in those abilities. But I noticed that my mere presence will cause certain people to leave the room. It's like they can't even stand to be near me. And I'm sure the same thing happens to a lot of you listening to this video today. 
I also noticed that the people who leave are often anti-God, they are anti-religion, they carry negative energy, and they tend to be prone to violence. Now let's talk about my experience being an introverted psychic black woman. What's interesting is I feel like being black keeps me hidden and the introvert in me loves that because again, being in front of the crowd is not my thing, right? But incarnating in the body of a black woman has made it easier to conceal my truth because no one expects this of me. The media has a real corrupt way of painting false images of people and assigning them into boxes to stay in when nothing could be further from the truth, right? Black women have been typecast to be so many things that were collectively not loud, ghetto, ignorant, violent, or promiscuous, right? And when we think of black women being spiritual in any capacity, we often associate them with the church or a spiritual place of worship. But there haven't been many faces like mine that are real psychic mediums that are down to earth everyday people. So in my experience of being a black introverted psychic medium, I see that it's like I see that I'm likely to be underestimated. And if I am not being underestimated, I am being put into a category that I don't belong in. I am not a witch, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but I notice that anytime a black woman says anything occult sounding, she is automatically thrown in the category of being a witch. And when I am wrongly placed in that category, I also notice that a lot of other doors will close because of the false association with being a devil worshiper or something of that sort. And let me be clear, I roll with the light of God every day and all day. And if God ain't in it, then neither am I. I don't do curses and I absolutely refuse to do a spell and interfere with someone's free will just to please a client. In fact, I've never even taken those types of clients and I have turned down money more than a time or two because I refuse to let them drag my karma down with theirs. We are all accountable for our actions. It doesn't matter if you're the one taking the action or if you're the one paying for someone else to take the action on your behalf, you will be held accountable. However, I am no longer a religious woman, even though for many, many years I was, but based upon my supernatural and earthly learned experiences, I've come to the conclusion that religion is good for a foundational basis, but it is also good to elevate past it. And for those of you who don't, you're not supposed to. But for those of you that do, you're not alone. So this is just a snippet of what it's like being a black psychic introvert. And if I went any further, this video will be really long. So if you guys like, love, or hate this video, let me know down in the comment section down below and I might make a part two. So please share this video, share it with your family, share it with your friends, share it with your coworkers and your sneaky links, and then share it with the bees because bzz, 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 you know they like to gossip. My contact information is in the description box down below. And until next time, remember, anybody can be a superhero, even you.